These are penalties, but it's legendary moments. And first up, we're zipping back to the 2008 Champions League final penalty shootout. Here's Ronaldo ready to take the third penalty kick for United. Anticipation's through the roof, but Peter Cech comes out of nowhere and blocks it. No points for guessing, Ronaldo was the one and only Red Devil who couldn't beat Cech. But hold on, John Terry steps up to take a decisive penalty for Chelsea. The Chelsea captain steps up for his penalty that could have given Chelsea their first ever Champions League, but wastes it by slipping and hitting the post. It's a swirl of every emotion you can imagine. John Terry, with the weight of the world on his shoulders, can't hide his devastation, his missed penalty echoing in his mind, no doubt. And then there's Ronaldo, our earlier penalty misser. He's shedding tears, but of a different kind. Tears of pure relief and jubilation at securing the European Cup. Now rewinding all the way back to the 1994 World Cup final, remember Roberto Baggio's unforgettable penalty goof? Oh, the drama! One miss and Brazil's got the World Cup in the bag! Now don't get me wrong, Baggio was the man on fire during the tournament, netting five stunners in the knockout stages for Italy, but oh boy, when the spotlight was the brightest, he stumbled. Such a heartbreaker! With Baggio's botched penalty, Brazil's dancing with joy, celebrating celebrating their fourth World Cup victory. The final scoreline, a nail-biting 0-0 that went into a 3-2 penalty shootout. Now the iconic 2005 Champions League final showdown between AC Milan and Liverpool. If you think you've seen drama, wait till you see this. The game's all knotted up at 3-3 after extra time and we're in penalty territory. Up steps Perlo, but lo and behold, Liverpool's Iron Man Jersey Dudek stops the ball dead in its tracks. Milan's already down two penalties and they're grasping at straws here. But wait, Dudek isn't done yet. Next on the list, Andre. Dudek denies him too, sealing the deal for Liverpool. Cue the celebration, they just bagged their fifth Champions League title in a history-making 2-3 penalty shootout comeback. Fast forward a year later at the 2006 World Cup between Italy and France, and Fabio Grosso had to take the deciding penalty. France missed a penalty when Trezeguet hit the crossbar. Grosso converted the final penalty and and Italy won the World Cup for the fourth time ever while scoring all five penalties. We stay with the Italian national team in penalty shootouts as Jorginho converted a decisive penalty that sent the Italians to the 2020 Euro Finals. Spain missed two penalties beforehand, and that Jorginho penalty was enough to send them to their first international final since 2012, and Italy saw success again. The 2021 Europa League final penalty shootout was won for the books. This one had so many shots that even the keepers had to step up to the spot. The first 10 players from both Villarreal and Man United have nailed it. First in line is Geronimo. He whacks it past David, clean and crisp, then comes the plot twist. David steps up to the plate, but he's denied by Ruli. With that save, Ruli turns hero and begs their first ever Europa League trophy. Sadio Mane became a national hero in Senegal as he converted the penalty that gave Senegal their first ever African Cup by beating Egypt in the 2021 AFCON final. Egypt missed two penalties while Senegal only missed one, and Mane's penalty was enough to give them their historic win. Salah and Egypt were upset while celebrations began for Mane and the Senegalese. Now we look back at the 2006 World Cup Final, where Zidane scored a Paneka against Buffon in the first 10 minutes of the final. The ball indeed crossed the line and gave France the lead in the World Cup Final in style, but unfortunately for the French, it wasn't enough to win the World Cup. In a friendly between Brazil versus England, Joe Hart stares down one of the GOATs, Ronaldinho. And Joe Hart stepped up by not just making one save, but two. Hart plays a guessing game outwits Ronaldinho and dives right to block the first attempt. The Brazilian got another go, but Hart wasn't having it. With a lightning fast dive and an outstretched hand, he sweeps up the second shot too. Joe Hart did the same thing with another legend of the game, Messi, in the Champions League for Manchester United against FC Barcelona. Hart would guess the right way and saved Messi's penalty. The rebound was unfortunate for the Argentine as he heads the ball wide while Hart was already beaten. 
What also was unfortunate for the Argentine was when he missed Argentina's first penalty in the 2016 Copa America final. This miss would be crucial to Argentina's loss because Arturo missed before the Messi penalty. Argentina would miss again and Chile America for the second time in a row. Messi couldn't hold his tears in as he was devastated by another loss in an international final. In the 2013 U20 World Cup, Paul Pogba shows the world the slowest penalty kick ever. He took little steps towards the ball and then converted the penalty, sending the keeper the wrong way. A unique technique! Ronaldo converted this crucial penalty for Juventus against Atletico Madrid in the Champions League in 2019. This penalty completed a comeback as Juve was losing 2-0 on aggregate and then defeated Atletico 3-0 in the second leg with this late penalty goal. It wasn't the first time the Portuguese did something similar to this, as he converted a crucial penalty for Real Madrid against Juventus themselves. It was a last-minute penalty, with the aggregate score being 3-3 in the 2018 Champions League quarterfinals. This dramatic last-minute penalty made it 4-3, and Ronaldo helped Madrid advance to the semifinals. This penalty moment is legendary, but for the wrong reasons. Robert Pires attempted to pass the ball to Thierry Henry, but Robert completely missed the ball, and a free kick was given to Man City. Henry, in a post-match interview, couldn't explain that fail and laughed about the moment with his Arsenal teammate. This penalty wasn't a fail, as the player converts the pen and does a backflip after kicking the ball. An impressive penalty that shocked many. Time to spin the globe and land in the 2022 World Cup for a penalty shootout that left Jaws on the floor. Brazil vs Croatia. Let's set the stage. Brazil's Rodrigo strides up cool as a cucumber, but oh dear. Croatia's Livakovic plays spoiler and swats away the shot. Pressure's mounting for Brazil, and their hopes take another hit when Marquinhos hit his penalty onto the post, and just like that, Brazil's out of the running and Croatia's off to the semifinals. But hang on a sec, because Livakovic isn't done playing the hero. Rewind to the game before Brazil, and he's once again the man of the hour in a shootout against Japan. The guy's a one-man army, deflecting not one, not two, but three Japanese penalties. Is he a keeper or a magician? In the 2022 Carabao Cup final penalty shootout, Van Dijk had his right side completely empty, but decided to shoot where Kepo was standing and still managed to score. It was a cold penalty that amazed the Liverpool fans because of how hard the penalty was taken and aimed right where the Chelsea keeper was. Kepa showed that it wasn't his day as his penalty kick went over the bar and the Liverpool beat Chelsea and won the Carabao Cup. Many Barcelona fans will never forget this iconic penalty kick by Messi against Zulta de Vigo, who casually passes the ball to Luis Suarez instead of shooting and scores. The keeper dived and was beaten, and Suarez took the opportunity to just push the ball into the net. Imagine being a goalkeeper and choosing dancing plus jumping around as a way to send your country to a World Cup. This is what happened when Australia played Peru in a decisive World Cup qualifying game, and Australia's Redmayne used this unique goalkeeping technique to distract the Peruvian players. Those dance moves would work as he managed to have a Peruvian miss a penalty and then save the vital penalty in the sudden death rounds. This save sent Australia into the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. In 2012, Manuel Neuer was Real Madrid's kryptonite in the semi-final of the Champions League as he saved Ronaldo's penalty at the Bernabeu. Ronaldo was the first to take a penalty for Real Madrid, Neuer would save the next Madrid penalty this time against Kaka. Bayern would advance to the final after a horrible miss by Sergio Ramos and win 1-3 on penalties. Bayern should definitely thank the German legend for being responsible for two out of the three missed Madrid penalties. Man, these sure were some heated penalties. If you enjoyed this video, I bet you'll enjoy watching some more crazy moments in football. See you there!